G day, people! This is Sharpino here, welcoming you to the first episode of the Pokemon Diamond Shot Lock. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, Let me tell you guys, I am so excited for this. You know why? Because I get to drink. Woo! Who doesn't like to drink? Who does not like to drink? Oh, okay. Like I said, if you're underage, don't drink. And if you are underage, drink responsibly. So, let's see here. So, oh, first off, before we start this episode, let's get things kicking off the bang with some Sierra Tequila. Because what is better than starting off a party with a shot, eh? Why the hell not, you know? SA, we get the party going, yeah, not being racist to Mexicans, but you get what I'm saying. So this is tequila, one shot right here. Make sure we don't drop that. Go back on it. There we go. There we go. So here's to you people, here's to the shot lock, episode number one. Oh. Oof. <laughs> okay, so we got the. Oh, jeez, that's got a bad aftertaste. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so. Shot number one has been taken, and it all begins from here. So, let's get started here. Uh, let's see. Hello there. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Rowan, that's the voice you gotta have for Rowan. My name is Rowan. However, Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. I think I'm good. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Let me just turn it down a little bit too loud. Here, I have a Pokeball. Go ahead and touch the button of the middle, if you please. I got a Munchlax, cool. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? We'll just date, we'll keep us a G as a boy. Alright, so you're a boy. Yes. Tell me, what is your name? So for the first time, we're going to go into this Let's Play as our new name. Let's hope it fits, I think I kind of forgot to see. Oh, it's not going to fit, god damn it. All right, we'll just go Sharpie, I suppose. Not Sharpie, no, we'll go Sharpie. Your name is Sharpie? Yes. Okay, so you're Sharpie. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? We'll keep him as Barry from the anime, or the cartoon. I know I keep saying anime. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Why, yes, it is. Alright, Sharpie, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on, leap into the world of... Pokémon. So here we go. Fourth Let's Play on the channel, let's do this as Sharpino. Yeah! We have a news report here. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, their rare, ugly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados has failed to appear, even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. See you all next time. Next week, same time, same channel. Which is a good catchphrase for the channel. So we're gonna go downstairs, next button opens the menu. Thank you, random picture friend my wall. Hi mom, where's dad? Oh. Except Gen 3, he doesn't appear. Shoppy! Barry came for a while ago. 
I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. That Barry. <laughs> oh, Barry, you with your emergencies. Oh yes, Sharpie! Yes? Don't go with the tall grass, wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Just stay away from it. Got it, Mom. Why don't you tell me to brush my teeth without you? Thanks, Mom! See ya. Thud. Ow. What was that about? Oh, hey, Sharpie! Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Sharpie? Well, I'm finding you one million polka dollars if you're late. Oh, jeez, I forgot something! Hey, he says that. What is it? Oh, jeez. Oh, golly jeebers. Hello, Mrs. Barry. Oh, hi, Sharpie. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Ma'am, your son has a condition called ADHD. I suggest you give him some real. I better take my bag and journal too! Oh, hey, Sharpie! Hey, Barry. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. You already said that. It's a ten million dollar Poké Dollar fine if you're late. Jeez, talk about that economy. Goes from one million Poké Dollars to ten million Poké Dollars in seconds. Alright, so we're here in Twin Leaf Town. Let us go ahead here. Her. Let's go with her. We're on Route 201 with Barry. Hey, you saw that news report on, was on the TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. Yes, if you didn't check out this video, you would already know that. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that. So let's. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go find a Pokemon like that. Alright, so, Verity Lakefront, so, this one's got Azelf, Misper, and Uxi as the legendaries. Alright, to the lake, let's find us a Red Gyarados! <sighs> Hopeful children. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Yes, Professor. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokémon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. You shall not pass! <laughs> Sorry if I all the headphone users, but he only set us up for it, so... I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that all about, those two? Check it out! I don't think it's a good idea. My mum said don't get in long grass. What's that? Don't go on the tall grass? No problem, no problem! We will be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. I mean, phew, wild Pokemon. Unless you're a black belt, don't go into wild grass. It's a briefcase! Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say Professor. Ah! Pigeons! A Pokemon! What's going on? Look! Those are Pokeballs! Let's battle using these! Eh? Which one do you want, then? Alright, so let's go ahead and see what our randomized starters are going to be. Oddish. Togepi. Chikorita. Hmm. Interesting choices. Now... Hmm. Chikorita, Oddish, or Togepi. Ugh. I don't know, those choices seem pretty bad if you ask me, but um... Uh... Hmm. 
which one to go for? I know Togepi is obviously becomes a Togepi. The only problem is I don't know if they have a shiny stone in the game. So, um, what do I choose? I've asked you guys uh, which Pokemon you want me to choose. A lot of you picked um, the Togepi, and a lot of you went for Chikorita. But in the interest of trying to you know stand up for the little guy, I'm going to go ahead and pick Oddish. So Oddish is going to be our starter here for this game here. Against a Starling, which is uh, not too bad here, but let's see what moves Oddish has level 5. We've got Absorb and Sweet Oh, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be a terrible first match. This is going to do absolutely nothing. But, to our credit, we've got ourselves Absorb, so I guess it's not too bad, but... You know, it's just bad for the fact that we've got a move that's not very effective. But, at the plus side, Growl's not going to do anything to our attack, so I guess it's a good thing that we got Absorb. Excuse me. Oh. So, Orish is going to be our first item. Oh, one more thing I haven't told you. Basically, what I'm going to do is, every Pokemon is going to be named after a drink. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and get myself up the list of alcohol that we've got here. So let's see here. So, cocktail list. So first we'll continue the battle here. So we'll go ahead and go for another absorb. Thank you Wikipedia. Who knew Wikipedia had lists of cocktails? So once we do this battle, we'll go ahead and we'll decide which uh, what type of name we should give our Orish. Now, Orish being a toxic type and being grass, we want to have something that maybe has maybe some uh, something like a, let's see, lime flavor, something like that. So let's go ahead and look for lime. Go for another growl. Mate, you ain't doing nothing to us. Hmm. The popular drink is a Lime Ricky, so we might go ahead and call out Oddish Lime Ricky. Seems to be the way to go, so we get the Absorb off on this Starly here. Yes, we defeated you. Yay! than yours. They were the other people's Pokemon though. But we have to use them. They won't mind, will they? <sighs> oh! That's the brief! There's the briefcase! The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it! Uh oh no! Did you did you use the Pokemon in here? Yes, we did. While Starly appeared. You did? Oh my gosh! What's the professor going to say? This is so not good! I'll take this briefcase for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Sharpie. Let's get out of here! My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Darn to... You go ahead! I know we'll have to return- we have to go to return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. We gotta give him back, Barry. But I don't want it! You have to! Be the adult. Hey, it's those people! Is that old guy staring at us? Dude, shut the fuck up! Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Oish and Turtwig. Whoa, he got a Turtwig? That bitch! Hmm. I see. That's how it is. 
Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, don't you want your Pokemon back? Um, yes! Professor, please wait for me! I think you should visit the lab later. Okay, see ya! What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want their Pokemon back? Sharpie, let's just go home. Agreed. I need to relax from that wild battle with that Starly. I mean, I'm trying to pace myself. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry were unharmed? From a pack of wild Starly. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sangam Town. I heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I heard he's also quite intimidating. With that voice and that stare? Yeah, of course he's intimidating. <laughs> what are you talking about? I love people. <laughs> Sharpie, I think you need to visit him in Sandrum Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know Sharpie, put these on. Finally, the rain shoes. We can actually get somewhere. Going to Sandrum Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get in faraway places much faster. Let's read the instructions. No, we don't need to read the instructions, Mom. Well, isn't that just nifty? Just get this up. Now you're closer to me. Love you. All right, so let's go ahead, chest out these running shoes, and let's go to Sandrum Town and find out what the deal is. But along the way, we'll get to find out what some Route One encounters are because we don't have Pokeballs yet, so it doesn't start yet. Del Caddy. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want that. But we can get some experience. Let's go ahead and uh, have a... Have a showdown with the Del Caddy. So let's go ahead and go for an Absorb. And because it's neutral, we should get some decent damage. What you doing? Going for an attract. Oh god. Oh wait, we're both males. Hey, this audience is straight, okay? I call it Ricky. But it's a girl's name, so I don't like it. Alright, so we can just absorb more energy. We suck at your blood. Gonna do. She's gonna sing us to sleep, you son of a bitch. Wake up, we're just about to kill this Del Caddy, okay? Just having a look at different names while we're just doing this battle, sorry. Oh, we woke up! Finally, we can take care of this thing. Mint Julep? I actually like the name Julep a lot better, so we're going to uh, go with Julep for the name. Mint Julep, so let's go Julep. Yay, we got the battle one, yay. Good on your audience taking on that Del Caddy. Level up! Woo! You go, Julep, you go. So basically, I make the names of the Pokemon based off what I think the drink is best suits them. So, Mint, because it's got those green leaves to me at the top. Let's see what another possible encounter is. Chimeco. These are the best first route encounters. We've got Delcati and Chimeco. I guess Chimeco wouldn't be too bad. Now, I think we're going to run away from this thing because it might have um, confusion, which uh, we don't want to deal with because we're an oddish. Well, please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Thought how? What the? Oh, it's you, Sharpie. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there, man. 
Oh, it doesn't matter, Sharpie. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? ADHD. Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. I think that's a good idea. This music. Hmm. Finally, you came. Sharpino, was it? Yes, it is. Let me see your Pokemon again. Well, well, you made your Pokemon evolve already? What? It's Oddish, dude. They call you the Pokemon Professor. What the hell, dude? Alrighty then. I'll give that Oddish to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Absolutely. So let's give it the nickname. Uh, I forgot. We're not on. So let's give it the nickname Julep because uh, Nick Julep sounds mighty tasty. So Julep the Oddish. Let's go ahead and work that into the frame here. There we go. Very nice indeed. So Julep the Oddish is now added to our team. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yep, absolutely. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Oddish. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you were, I have to... Uh, oh, I just can't say it. What, kick my ass? Nice try. Ahem, <clears throat> moving on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yes, I will. <clears throat> Good answer. And we obtain the Pokedex. Fantastic. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Sharpino, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too! When you've walked up to a Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? Um, happy? I lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. Uh, in this gen, I think it's like 465, something like that, but don't correct me. This, that means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Sharpie. Your adventure, your grand adventure, Sharpino, begins right now! The Pokemon that I used for the first time was a Chimchar, but it won't be a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Sharp, you know. Alright, so we go ahead and leave this building. But now she's going to give us a tour. Okay, Sharpino, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find the Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Sharpie, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let that bother you though. He just called me a noob. Screw you. Oh, that's right, Sharpino. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to help Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you might need to go tell your family. Alright, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Poke Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye for now. Alright, so the Nuzlocke doesn't officially start until we get Pokeballs. So for the time being, we don't have any Pokeballs. So, uh, we've got Oddish stuff with Julep, the Oddish. I mean, that's not too bad. We've got ourselves another wild encounter. It's going to be a... Illumise. Also another good first encounter. I'm not liking the chance of this first encounter, but we'll see how it goes. 
Oh yes, question of the day. So question of the day, we'll run for this. We can't run from the blue eyes. What the hell? Let me run, dude. What the hell, dude? Hey, guy, not your guy, guy. Let me run away from you. Jeez, stupid blue eyes. What is your favorite alcoholic or if you're underage, non-alcoholic beverage? I'll, I'll, I'll do both. So my favorite alcoholic beverage is Jack Daniels with Coke. Can't go wrong with it. My favorite non-alcoholic drink, cookies and cream milkshake. That drink is awesome. That'll carry on milkshake. Welcome home, Sharpie. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Excuse me. What's up, Sharpino? Well, I've been asked to help Professor Rowan, and once again, I'm leaving you, Mum. Wow! Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Sharpino. I've got something that you'll find very useful. We're gonna journal. God knows why. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your day. That's what a journal is. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Sharpino, I'll be alright by myself. So why don't you go enjoy your adventure? Expose to new things, it would make me happy. But come back sometimes. I'd like to see the different kinds of Pokemon you call. This is Barry. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Uh, no, he's not. Oh, he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouts about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Sharpino will deliver that for him. Won't you, Sharpino? Thanks, Mom. Volunteer me for stuff. Oh, really? You do that for me? Please, take this Barry to Barry for me. It's a parcel. I'm guessing there's a town out there. Bye-bye, Sharp... Bye-bye, Sharpino. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably go straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Your Barry. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head up to, uh, back to Sandrum Town. Learn how to capture Pokeball for now the fourth time by our rival slash assistant. Another encounter for uh, one, and he is a... Another Illumines. I really don't want to counter Illumines just because it's going to be terrible. Can I run away from this thing, please? Thank you. Last time it was giving us such a hard time. Alright, so we're back. We're going to learn how to catch some Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do this. For the fourth time. And here's Dawn. Oh, that's right. Sharpedo, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So just watch me, okay? And like every rival, they know exactly which spot to find a certain Pokemon. Patoof! Oh no, it's a ball Patoof! Run, Dawn! Run! So, the, in, this segment is not randomized, so it's going to have an all Bidoof with whatever Pokemon I chose. So because I chose uh, the Turtweak slash Grass type Pokemon, um, she obviously picks the weakness, which is Chimchar. And then Barry picks the Pokemon that is advantageous for your Pokemon. So we're going to watch this boring, boring, boring battle happen. Go ahead and do it! Throw the ball already, god damn it. Yay! She caught a Bidoof! That was so scary. <laughs> See? Isn't that neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon HP down low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them asleep or something by using a move. Okay, let's give you five Pokeballs. Alright, so now the Nuzlocke officially begins. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it will be safer on long trips. Plus, it will be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going, so bye now. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to Route 1, see what we can encounter for our first 
Pokemon. This would be interesting to say the least. Our encounter for Route 1 is... about an Illumise. I would rather an Illumise than this unknown. That's super effective. I wonder what type that is. Alright, so we've got ourselves an Absorb here. We're going to bring down unknown to a lower point in health. And unknown though, come on, really? Of all the luck. Alright, we may as well catch it. Pokeball go! And he doesn't want to stay in that Pokeball. Oh, screw it, I'm not going to let an unknown join our team. Nah, no, I'm not going to have it. I'd be one to have an extra Pokemon, but this guy's annoying me with his super effective hidden power. They're almost going to kill us too. So... Julep gets another level, or gets his experience. So we've lost our first encounter to a freaking unknown. I think we're going to finish it off here with one more encounter and pray that this is a good encounter because that was total bullcrap. If I should say so myself. The luck that we're having on this let's play is ridiculous. First off, the starters were, I'd say, garbage. And then the first encounter, I was complaining all this time about Lumines and the game made me pay by giving me an unknown. Let's see if we can actually get a better Pokeball. I really need a better Pokeball, just in case another better Pokemon comes along. So let's see what we can get here. Can we get a Great Ball? Even a Great Ball would be good. Alright, you know what? I was going to try and get for the Premier Ball, but I don't want to waste two grand just like that. Let's go ahead, let's go, you know what? Let's just YOLO it and go into this next area and get ourselves our next encounter. The encounter for Route 2 is... Dugong, gong, gong, gong! Nice, Dugong! I won't say no to that. The only issue I have is that we're weak to it. So let's go for an absorb. It's got icy wind. Oh, actually, I didn't check the nature of our body shield. Eight damage. Ooh, this is going to be a bit difficult. Can we get a crit? That'd be nice. I did a lot of damage. So we're going to get one more Absorb, Headbutt. Alright, that's good. Didn't go for a, a, a nice event. Definitely just... Alright, good. Alright, so Dugong is going to be our second round count. That's actually not bad. I actually don't mind a Dugong. Alright, so now the only problem is I don't have another move that can weaken it even further. So, let's go into our inventory. We've got four Pokeballs. Can we please catch this Dugong? We need another Pokemon to end this episode, please. Alright, we've got some good luck here. So we've got Dugong. Gong, gong, gong. So let's go ahead and Dugong. Dugong, the sea lion Pokemon. In snow, the pure white coat covering its body obscures it from predators. Very smart indeed. Now, let's have a look at these drinks. Let's see what would best describe a water ice Pokemon. So, let's have a look here at some different drinks here. Let's see here. 
something white, something crisp with ice. There's lots of ices on here. <laughs> Tokyo uh, Sea Nuclear Iced Tea. Hmm. On Island Iced Tea? No, that's a white drink. Ice Pick? Let's have a look at what the Ice Pick is. What the hell is this crap? Screw it, we're just gonna call it Ice Pick. Ice Pick, because it's a drink. I know it's a bit crazy, but. Ice. So Ice Pick the Dugong has now joined our team here. So let's go ahead and add our beautiful Ice Pick to the team. All right, so we've got ourselves Ice Pick the Dugong. Let's go ahead and, and check out our Pokemon's natures and everything else, because I'm actually now curious what our Pokemon natures are. So let's go with Julep first. Quirky nature, so it's neutral. And Quirky as well, with hydration. So that's actually not a bad start. I mean, obviously the stars could be better, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this episode as it is. So we'll go ahead and heal up. And that will be the first episode of the... The diamond, the Pokemon Diamond Shot Lock. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like down below. Because as always, your support is appreciated. If we can hit 20 likes on this episode, I will take one additional shot in an upcoming episode later on. So, uh, until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you all next time.